Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Last week, EA dropped a surprise shapeshifter SBC, and we're hoping that it returns again today in FIFA 23. You may remember this SBC because of the compensation that came as a part of it, but more so what it acted as was almost like a guaranteed SBC, similar to what we saw during Team of the Season. We're going to talk about that today, all the content that happened yesterday, especially with that end of an era content, which you can see I've already started to complete. So a lot of that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe if you are new let's start with yesterday's content as we always do we had a couple SBCs yesterday we'll talk about content in a second but one part of the fodder market is absolutely getting destroyed in price and I'm glad we talked about selling a couple of days ago it's team of the weeks guys the team of the week upgrade packs return the untradeable pack which you can do once every single day and the tradable pack which is supplying team of the week cards on the market like crazy right these all all these cards were 26,000 coins uh, yesterday before the content drop and right now team leaks are back down at basically discard value some of your even more expensive team league cards like 86s and 87s have dropped off a bunch in value uh, because they are supplied right that tradable team of the week pack we can't do it every day right there's two different team of the week packs there's the tradable one which we can do once every few days like once a week basically it's out for 30 days and then the 81 plus team of the week upgrade which is untradeable where you can do every single day and it's super duper cheap to do so that is going to be a very easy way if you need team of the week cards as a lot of these SBCs like Conte require a team of the week or a team of the season it's a lot cheaper to get team of the week cards now because you're going to have those upgrade SBCs there and it's making their prices cheaper on the market so that was kind of the uh thing going on there with those team of the weeks some of you guys have been asking me already Nate can we invest in team of the week cards since our prices are back down with these upgrade SBCs being out for another 29 days in my opinion it's not worth investing in team of the week cards um until at least we get towards the end of those SBCs going away uh because then maybe they could go up a little bit but we'll have to see so i'm not really investing in these too much unless they're higher rated and more of a investment on that sort of range uh, but the lower tier ones i'm going to stay away from i don't think there's a rise coming very soon on those now the big sbc yesterday n'golo conte end of an era we knew the leak we knew the potential of it dropping and it did end up being released four star five star medium high work rates 96 rated really great stats right an absolutely insane Conte card it's kind of reminiscing on the team of the year Conte cards I don't know if any of you guys use those in past FIFA's I was lucky enough to pack him in FIFA 20 and I think it was FIFA 22 as well where I had his team of the year card it was one of my favorite cards each of those years because he was always so good that's why I've always said Conte's cards and you guys know this Conte's cards are always cracked in game I'm doing this SBC I did the foot birthday I actually turned the foot birthday in to one of the 90 rated squads inside of this but guys this is this is uh, SBC is very expensive and EA is definitely pulling out some Premier League tax here some nostalgia tax and some just emotion tax right you've got a 96 Conte um, you got great stats but again you just have a price tag that is very very high and actually fodder prices just keep going up when this SBC was first released it was only 1.3 million coins now it's 1.5 because team of the season cards are going up they're required in this Conte and you've got 90 91 92 rated fodder cards rising a lot in value because there's a lot of high rated squads in this SBC right Benzema Messi De Bruyne your 91s they're about 40,000 coins once again after I think they were 33k yesterday is that what they were 31,000 coins these guys are uh, approaching uh, 40,000 coins a crazy rise there your 92s are going up your 90 rateds are rising a lot basically your high tier fodder because of this Conte is going up and even though again you look at this card and you're like Nate this card has 2600 down votes and 1600 up votes it is very expensive. Is it really worth doing? It's not the best value card. You've got so many great center mids that have been released. The, the Vanja Milinkovic Savage, the Tony Cruz, man. A lot of people point to this Tony Cruz card that is level 30 in objectives and say you can get a card that has more in game stats and is arguably better than this Conte for free right now inside of the season awards and progress. So that's a very kind of real conversation you have to have and kind of realize, okay, 
How much do I want to grind? How much does this Conte mean to me? And that's what it comes down to, I think, is nostalgia. And again, like I said, I've used Conte a lot in previous FIFAs. This just goes uh, to kind of commemorate. This SBC is really just to commemorate Conte. And of course, the end of his time in the Premier League and especially at Chelsea. So that's why I think EA can get away with putting a higher price tag on this SBC because they know that people are still going to do it. And if you have to wonder if people are doing it or not, all you have to look at is the SBC fodder market just going up on the high rateds, which is exactly what this squad requires. Um, and you can obviously see that people are doing it. So I'm doing it for the vibes. It's up to you. It, I will say it is kind of nice uh, to have an SBC that is like this, an end game midfielder that you can just kind of chip away at and craft. It's out for 14 days, so it's not out for the longest time. It's not quite like an icon SBC like this Beckham, who's out for like 64 more days, but two weeks. Fodder packs, 82 plus player picks, the crafting upgrades. It definitely is completable. It's not that difficult. I just wish it wasn't as expensive as it actually is. So that was the biggest piece of content yesterday. And one of the other big pieces of content was not in the SBC section. It was in objectives, guys. We talked about that foot champs bonus objective coming out and it did. But the surprise league was not MLS. It was the Saudi League, and if any of you guys were on stream yesterday, when we were getting ready for content, we had said, guys, watch out for Saudi League players. We saw it in, in yesterday's video, right? The MLS players were inflated a ton. We got, looked at guys like Mukhtar, who was up at 200,000 coins, um, and that was up like 100k from where he was. Mukhtar now is 150k. All the MLS cards have dropped off big time, and your Saudi League TOTS cards have exploded, right? And it makes sense because they are in that objective. People are buying these to use them. And some of the price rises that we saw, Anderson Taliska went from 110,000 coins. I think he went to like 250K for like a quick second. And then see this spike? Yeah, it doesn't even show all the way that he went up. He went from 100K to like 250 and then got panic sold back down to where he is right now at about 145. Um, one thing I will say about this objective is it's not... It's not easy to get a team that is competitive that's full of the Saudi League cards. If I'm being completely honest, there are not a lot of Saudi League cards in this game, and it doesn't help that some of them are extinct. Some of the Syria, or not Syria, the team of the season cards from Saudi, like Tombatki, uh, they're extinct because the price ranges have not been updated. So if you have these Saudi League cards, do the objective, um, get the games in, and then just get them out because I don't think these cards are going to maintain their values that well. I feel like they, the reason they didn't go up as much as some of the other leagues did, like, Technically, Taliska is only up 40,000 coins, which is not up as much as maybe other cards would be, is I don't think as many people are going to end up doing this objective um, just because it is very tough to do and it's going to be tough to be competitive with the Saudi league team. Now, I will say, watch out for those MLS cards still. Maybe next week, that could be our last weekend league, kind of like a Foot Champs Plus objective, and maybe they require those cards then. So definitely watch out for that, but that was a crazy kind of part of the market yesterday that moved. Now, today's content, Wednesday, right? The big Shapeshifters SBC. You guys might remember what happened last Wednesday. The SBC was only available for a mere like one hour and 15 minutes before it was taken off of the game. And yes, we are talking about this one, the 92 plus TOTS or Shapeshifters Team 1 player pick. Now, I'm hoping that this week, this Team 1 that was added in last week when this was dropped would update to being Team 2. So whether it's a 92 plus TOTS and Shapeshifters Team 2, or if it includes Shapeshifters Team 1 and Team 2, I really hope and I kind of expect to see some sort of player pick or pack like this releasing on the game today. Guys, I think there's a decent probability of this happening uh, just because, again, EA, as we've been talking about in yesterday's video, talking about the whole conversation of the Shapeshifters promo, they have up to the level of content. We're getting new packs, new player SBCs just about every single day. The content is rolling, and I think this is something that they want to do. Think about during Team of the Season, right? We had all those guaranteed TOTS SBCs where uh, that was kind of our day. Wednesdays was the guaranteed TOTS day for the main league and they kind of kept that going last week with shapeshifters team number one and releasing this spc i really hope they release it again honestly just copy and paste the same thing put the team two cards in it because it feels like again a guaranteed type of pack where you have a chance at least to pack a really good tots card and it's a one of four player pick so you 
pretty much have a decent shot at packing at least somebody from a brand new team of Shapeshifter Team 2 that you could go ahead and try out and, and use in a team as well. So that's why I have high hopes for this SBC returning today. If it does return, you're going to see fodder go to even higher levels. There was a team of the season player requirement inside of this SBC. And I actually remember very vividly uh, last week when this SBC was released, Tots cards exploded and it kind of reached a whole new level. Um, right now, they're up again because of the Conte, right? They're 82,000 coins for all of these Tots cards. They're going to go higher today if this SBC is re-released, even though it seems crazy and silly. Unless EA do compensation today or somehow supply TOTS cards tradable on the market as well, those prices are just going to continue to go up. Now, you know, what do you need to invest in to get ready for this? If I were to say to buy anything right now, I would just say probably stock still a couple of 88 rateds because they're still the same price as 87s at 21,000 coins. And if there is like an 88 rated squad that's in there, you know, or an 87 rated squad, a couple of 88s would help out a lot with that. And try to get a TOTS card if you can. Maybe you're not buying a TOTS card off the market, but maybe you're going through and you're completing the craft to glory objective um, and you're getting 40 completions on the Bravo, which would get you a TOTS pack, which again, is not cheap to get that done because you have to buy non-rares and, and do the SBC. Or if you're crafting through like BPM, silver upgrades and stuff like that to get the gold non-rares, you know, it's definitely a grind to get a TOTS card right now, at least in that manner. Um, but just that's kind of two of the ways you could prepare today if that SBC were to re-release. Whether it's that one or something else, I do feel like we will get something today along the lines of another upgrade pack. Of course, um, we're going to have the refresh of SBCs today as well. We're going to have a refresh of the 84 times 10 Not a surprise there. And, and I think that's the only refresh that's happening. We had the year interview that refreshed yesterday, of course. That was expected. Um, and there's no new player SBCs that are leaked. Now, last week, we had the Cantana that was dropped on Wednesday, right? That was a pretty big icon player SBC. No leaks again for that one. I don't have any leaks or I haven't seen any concrete evidence for leaks of players dropping today. Maybe it's just going to be an upgrade pack today. Maybe there's something else coming as well. But uh, Wednesdays have been decent content in the past week. So that's why I'm hoping for that 92 plus shapeshifters player pick to drop back on the game today. We'll talk a bit more about market impact here in a second. Uh, another piece of content that could be dropping today is, remember what happened last Wednesday in objectives? Remember the, the quick links, right? That objective card, uh, the shapeshifters upside down player. Um, that came on a Wednesday as kind of a replacement for silver stars. Watch out for maybe another card like this. I don't know if we're going to get one, but this did drop last Wednesday, so maybe there's potential for that to be happening again. And then in the store, I have not been keeping up to date um, with the store packs and the refreshes, to be completely honest. I did open the 500k pack, so let's see if it's back. Um, it's not. Okay, so maybe the 500k pack refreshes today as well, because that has sometimes refreshed during the week. I did open that on the weekend, which was just crazy of me to do anyways. Uh, but I did do that, and uh, so that's not been there yet. So maybe that will refresh as a part of today's content as well. Now let's talk about Mark a little bit. I mean, with the Conte that was released and with the SBCs that we had released yesterday, the market didn't move that much, right? Fodder went up a little bit. I was really wondering if your midfielders would go down, right? I still had an Anthony Martial, and I still have actually right now a De Young card, and there actually wasn't that much movement, and some of these shapeshifters... Anthony Marshall's 1.12. He is actually up. DeYoung was about 2.05 uh, last night. Had a good opportunity to sell then, and I didn't take it. He is down a little bit. Not that much, but down a little bit. But you still see cards like Usman Dembele uh, continue to fluctuate and go higher. These rare cards that are in the Shapeshifters promo, they're moving really well. I actually just picked up two Neuers about uh, an hour ago at... Um, a low price of 500,000 coins flat. Right now, he's about 575. So I maybe got a little bit lucky there, but I sold two at 600 yesterday. So the reason that I saw this Neuer card down on a couple of undercuts, seeing him at that low of a price to me was like, all right, I'm going to pick that up and try to see if I can flip a couple of these cards. I'm not expecting the shapeshifters to do that well. I mean, if you think about it, right? Um, we have got a potential big SBC coming today with that 92 plus that could definitely drain some coins. Um, I'm going to list this for six hours overnight, but 
that could definitely drain some coins off of the market and make some of these shapeshifter cards drop in price a little bit so i'm not expecting all these to like continue to go up a bunch today but if there's something in here that you're watching for your team Keep a close eye on them because last week, this was kind of the peak day for shapeshifters in team number one. Uh, remember Depay, right? They went up from like Monday to Wednesday from 420K. He went to about 450, 460, and then kind of fell off into the weekend as new shapeshifters came out and people wanted to try the brand new cards. So um, keep an eye on that with this shapeshifters team too, a little bit as well. You've got marquee matchups going to be coming out tomorrow and stuff like that. So uh, not a whole lot to talk about with this part of the market. Fodder really is the biggest part of the market right now, guys. If we're talking about making coins, trading, Fodder is kind of the place to be unless you're grinding the out of packs flips on the market. Um, yeah, fodder is definitely the part of this game that is moving the most because we have a lot of SBCs and a lot of content right now that is moving prices up and down uh, apart from the uh, Saudi League cards. I guess you could try to trade with a few of those. Like the Cristiano Ronaldo Inform would be one that if you're trying to make coins right now, you could get on some of these Saudi cards that are going to fluctuate up and down as people are playing Weekend League, right? Uh, one thing I will say is it's always worth it now during this week and during the Shapeshifters promo to save your Weekend League qualification games until the middle of the week, like Wednesdays, right? Because I did not play any of these and I'm glad that I didn't because now I have the opportunity to get these rewards. If I would have played my champs games before that, then I would not have gotten these um, through the qualifiers, right? Play qualifiers on like Wednesdays and Thursdays, play your rivals on like Tuesday, Wednesday, and then play the cup earlier than that if you possibly can. That seems to be kind of the best way to go about the gameplay grind right now on this game the most and uh just a really quick thing about midfielders as well i really don't think a lot of midfielders are dropping with this conte because uh, you know maybe some of the top tier ones are having a couple price drops here or there but i, I don't think this conte like caused a huge crash on midfielder prices everywhere uh just because I think a lot of people view this as just way too expensive and it's maybe not an SBC that everybody on this game is going out to complete just like that, right? It's not like the other end of an era that we saw like Jordi Alba and Busquets even that were really cheap and affordable for most of the FIFA user base. A 1.45 million coin SBC is so much more expensive to a lot of people than a 200k Busquets card that there's going to be way different levels of completion on that card so you didn't see a lot of like panic there but you're also really not seeing a lot of chelsea cards i don't think really going up that much because um you know again there's just not as many people doing that sbc to affect the market as much as some of those end of an era cards all we need ea sports is that end of an era's lot time okay just drop it just do it it is about that time you've got we've dropped us a conte drop us a Zlatan. That is the, the, still the number one thing that we're asking for in this game right now. So that's kind of a short video today, guys. But uh, that's kind of all that's going on. Really hoping that 92 plus pick comes back today. 84 times 10. I'm going to be doing more player picks because I got to get fodder to craft this Conte, to craft all the other upgrade packs that are going on right now. And maybe, just maybe, a slight chance today for a loading screen. Probably not until tomorrow, but watch out for leaks. Watch out for loading screens because we are getting towards that last week of Shapeshifters, week number three, the final week of this promo before we move into something different. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.